What's up, everyone? We are riding at dusk now. And we are over here at Bay Park. And the wind is picking up. It's getting a little chilly. Day 209 of the 365-day journey. And uh, we did a night ride because this COVID's kind of kicking my butt a little bit. Um, slept 12 hours last night. I'm not kidding tell you the last time I slept 12 hours. But I woke up a little bit better and uh, took it easy today and kind of screwed around the house. I put a new seat on the bike, um, got some stuff done, and decided to do my ride at dusk. So it is dusk here, and I don't know if you can see the sky over there. It's really pretty. Let's spin you around here. There you go. Look at that sky there. Look at the sky. Super pretty night. It's in the 40s right now. Long Island, New York. We're over here in the park. We're over here in the park. This is Bay Park, East Rockaway, Long Island, New York, the day after Christmas. There's Kevin Brady. And we're down here. I got the bike out. And we're doing all we ride at dusk edition. So. All right, so let's talk over here. Message of the day. Message of the day. So, um, this holiday season, it's been uh, different for a lot of people I know. Um, <laughs> COVID Christmas has uh, been a lot different. Um, I also know a lot of people have had a lot of changes in their lives um, with relationships and financially and uh, new locations, moved away, new houses. Um, they've had relatives pass away, traditions ended, and caught up with this whole idea of um, we got to stop expecting things to be a certain way, and if it's not that way, then it's wrong. For example, if you had a Christmas tradition that, uh, say, on Christmas Eve, you got the whole family together and had the seven fishes and did all that stuff, and this year, uh, due to COVID, it was just immediate family. They didn't have the big production. And that Christmas is ruined. But you know what? Christmas wasn't ruined this year. Christmas was actually probably better than it's been in a long time. Um, super quiet with just the kids. And um, we had some food and hung out and relaxed. And uh, it wasn't crazy. A lot of times Christmas Eve is crazy. Tons of cooking going on. Tons of cleanup. Tons of eating. Uh, stuff in our face and whatnot and um this year was uh nice and quiet and didn't eat as much as normal and uh still stayed up late doing the festivities but um had to wait for santa that always takes forever but uh we need to realize that um just because we expect a tradition to be a certain way um and it's not that way that it's bad christmas was not ruined this year christmas was actually really good this year um because it was quiet. And it's honestly, I think, the way Christmas should be. It's supposed to be peaceful. It's not supposed to be crazy. Uh, I posted a meme uh, of what Christmas is supposed to be peace and not um, I Love Lucy on the uh, candy line, the candy conveyor belt. If anyone's old enough to know that episode where Lucy's packing candies on the conveyor belt and it's coming at her so fast that she's stuffing them down her shirt and she's trying to eat them. And um, basically, life's getting away from her. It's coming at her so fast. And um, I feel like that's Christmas a lot of years. The conveyor belt's moving. Christmas comes at you so fast. There's shopping there's for gifts. There's presents for everybody. There's wrapping. Uh, there's all kinds of Christmas parties. There's shopping for the food and cooking the food and making the cookies and delivering the presents. And it's absolute, absolute madness. And this year, due to uh, COVID, it took a lot of that out of the equation. It allowed us to just relax and have peace. So um, just to get on with the message, uh, we need to accept when things are different, doesn't make them bad. Um, when uh, relationships change and traditions change, uh, we need to make new traditions. We need to make new beginnings and not uh, get hung up on something's ruined because we couldn't do it the way we've done it for the last 40 years, uh, 30 years, 20 years, whatever it is. You know, um, relatives are going to pass and carry on traditions. Um, this year we lost my grandfather. Um, Christmas was always at his house for a lot of years growing up. And as he got older, kind of moved away from that. And we've started, you know, obviously new traditions. So we need to each uh, one of us start our new traditions. As our elders pass, the traditions end, 
we start our new traditions, we start our new uh, things that we like to do. And just because we're not doing it the old way doesn't make it bad. Just because we're not living a situation uh, that we're comfortable with doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, we need to accept those new beginnings and we just start new traditions and uh, avoid distractions of uh, all the stuff around us that makes us think stuff isn't right. So if that makes any sense to you, comment below. A couple of people on here watching, appreciate all of you. Uh, we got to jump in prayers over here because we didn't do prayers today and uh, it's Sunday, fun day, and we got to take you to church. So let's jump on prayers real quick here. Lord, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an end. Amen. Dear God, help us to realize that um, we need to be grateful for everything in our life and be grateful for every new situation that comes upon us and be grateful for new traditions that we start. Uh, and help us to uh, accept things that are changing in our lives and help us to accept uh, new beginnings and help us to be able to make the best of every situation in life. Even a COVID Christmas, we make the best of it. Um, starting out a new year, uh, we're going to be getting over COVID this week. We'll be getting out of... Uh, not being able to see people uh, later this week, and I'll be looking forward to that. So now we ride at dawn, and yes, I didn't put. So, uh, yeah, how am gonna be on tomorrow? It's kind of a last minute ride. I went over to the house I'm trying to sell over there in Malvern. I set up a nice fancy spotlight on the lawn to light it up at night, show it off a little bit. It's a pretty house. We gotta get someone to buy that house. It's been slow and um, Christmas, all that stuff going on. Had some people interested, but obviously Christmas took over the priority right now. But anyway. Uh, we're going to get on with the ride. Uh, we're five and change miles into Bay Park here. And uh, we're going to ride home and uh, take it easy the rest of the night. And uh, do it again tomorrow. Tradition starts a new tradition. Make the best of every situation in your life. Amen. God bless everybody. Have a great night.